Hi students in today's video class let us learn about condensation polymerization and the mechanism of condensation polymerization now already we learned that polymerization reaction takes place in two ways the first one is the addition polymerization for which we have learned the mechanisms in this video we learn the mechanism of condensation polymerization condensation polymerization involves the reaction between two monomers resulting in the formation of a polymer along with elimination of small simple molecules like water ammonia carbon dioxide etc so in condensation the monomers react and give the polymers along with the elimination of small groups like water ammonia carbon dioxide etc since this polymerization occurs in different steps we can also call this condensation polymerization as step polymerization now here the condensation polymerization or the nature of the product formed in condensation polymerization depends upon the functionality of a monomer functionality is the number of functional groups present in a monomer suppose a monomer has got two functional groups we name it as bifunctional monomer bifunctional monomers will give you linear polymers if there are more than two functional groups we call it as a polyfunctional monomer polyfunctional monomers react to yield polymers with cross linked or network structures for example when a dicarboxylic acid this is a dicarboxylic acid here the functional group is carboxylic acid cooh how many carboxylic acid or how many functional groups are there there are two functional groups or two carboxylic acids hence we call it as a bifunctional monomer similarly this is a diol or dihydric alcohol now when a dicarboxylic acid is treated or when it is reacting with a diol there is elimination of water molecule so two monomers the two monomers are bifunctional due to the presence of two functional groups both are having two two functional groups so two bifunctional monomers when they condense during condensing it is forming the ester linkage along with the elimination of water molecule so after the elimination of water molecule water is eliminated like this after the elimination of water molecule we get the linkage c double bond o and the single bond is linking with this o so that is the ester cooo is the ester link so this is nothing but it is polyester so we learn uh, learn this as condensed polymer because the product is obtained along with the elimination of a small group like water hence this polymerization is called condensation polymerization this condensation polymerization can be further classified into two types one is the aabb type and the other one is the ab type when a pair of bifunctional monomers when a pair of bifunctional monomers like a dicarboxylic acid or dialcohol or dialcohol and diamine when they are undergoing polycondensation we come across with this type so under this type under aabb type of condensation we can explain the condensation between a dicarboxylic acid and a diamine or one monomer will have two functional groups the other monomer will have two other functional groups so when such monomer such type of two monomer bifunctional monomers are reacting the we call that type as aabb type the other one is ab type in ab type a single bifunctional monomer undergoes self condensation so here 
a single bifunctional monomer undergoes self condensation so as i told you in aabb type we have two bifunctional monomers this a is one bifunctional monomer bb is another bifunctional monomer so when two such bifunctional monomers condense they give the product along with the by products and that is called aabb type polymerization and in ab type a single bifunctional monomer that uh, there is only one monomer but the monomer is having two different functional groups so when the monomer with two different functional groups is undergoing self condensation we get the product along with the by product and that type of polymerization is called the ab type of polymerization formation of 9066 can be explained uh, as an example for aabb type because aa is a bifunctional uh, monomer so we can take this uh, dicarboxylic acid as a aa monomer now this is diamine here we have two amino groups nh2 nh2 so two amino groups so it is a diamine this is another uh, bifunctional monomer since amine is a functional group and there are two ami uh, um, two functional groups hence it is a, a bifunctional monomer this is another bifunctional monomer so when two different bifunctional monomers condense they liberate water and the product formed is an amide when acid and amine react you get the amide linkage here the co nh is called the amide co nh linkage is called the amide linkage and formation of nylon 66 is the best example for aab bb type of polycondensation so coming to this ab type of condensation i already told you a single monomer with two different functional groups a single monomer when two different functional groups when it is undergoing self condensation you get this type of uh, polymer so uh, for this we can say amino acid as an example amino acids amino acid will have an amine function functional group and an acid functional group so when an amine and an acid is condensing so this is the amino acid in the amino acid you have an amine functional group and an acid functional group so when the two amino acids are coming or three amino acids are coming they undergo self condensation within themselves they undergo condensation with a liberation of water uh, forming proteins okay these are proteins this is a very good example for uh, ab type of poly condensation now look at this example we have ch2 six times nh2 and nh2 so it is a diamine nh2 is amine this nh2 is another amine and we have uh, methylene ch2 is methylene how many methylene six methylene so hexamethylene diamine this is a bifunctional monomer which is which can be also named as 16 diamino hexane so it is hexamethylene diamine methylene formula is ch2 six times methylene is hexamethylene two times amine so diamine hexamethylene diamine this is condensing with adipoyl chloride adipoyl chloride has got the ch2 four times cocl and cocl on either sides so when these two molecules are condensing there is elimination of hcl one hydrogen from amine and one chlorine from the carbonyl chloride is eliminated as hcl in the presence of alkali so this polymerization is taking place in the presence of alkali and after the liberation of hcl we get a amide linkage amide linkage is co nh linkage the co nh linkage is called the amide linkage rest all is remaining the same ch2 four times cocl is there ch2 six times nh2 is remaining there 
this HCl alone is removed out. So, since this polymerization is accompanied by elimination of HCl, we call this polymerization as condensation polymerization. In this polymerization, since two different bifunctional monomers are involved, there is two different bifunctional monomer involved. So, this can be AA type, this is BB type. So, this type of condensation is, called, is coming under AA BB type of condensation and the product obtained is uh, BA 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 or if you take this uh, hexamethylene as a uh, B adipic, uh, adipoyl chloride that unit is A so the polymer has got a repeating pattern of BA 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 or it is having amide linkages amide linkage and this is nothing but it is polyamide. Now let us learn the different types of polycondensation. Polycondensation takes place in two ways. One is the intermolecular condensation, the other one is the intramolecular condensation. So polycondensation also occurs in two ways. One is intermolecular condensation, the other one is the intramolecular condensation. In intramolecular condensation, the condensation is occurring within the polymer unit or this is dimethyl terephthalate. Dimethyl terephthalate when it is reacting with ethylene glycol it gives you a polymer called terlin or dacron. The reaction is between two different monomers. Hence, it is called intramolecular condensation. The condensation is within the polymer itself. During this condensation, there is elimination of water molecule, uh, not water molecule, uh, there is elimination of methanol, CH3, OH is eliminated. The CH3O and this H is eliminated resulting in the formation of terlin or dacron. This type of condensation is called intramolecular condensation. The next uh, condensation is intermolecular condensation. Here also we can explain with the dimethyl terephthalate reacting with diethyl glycol or ethylene glycol. So when it is reacting with ethylene glycol, we get terlin. So, two different units of terlin can condense between each other forming a cyclic product. So, this is one terlin unit and this is another terlin unit. So, two different terlin units undergo uh, reaction within between them, themselves and forms a cyclic product. So, this type of condensed pro product formation between two monomers, uh, between two polymer is called intermolecular condensation. Next, let us learn about the mechanism of polycondensation. Taking nylon 66 or formation of uh, nylon 66 as example. So, the first step is Actually, nylon 66, we already learned that nylon 66 is formed by the condensation between adipic acid and hexamethylene diamine. So, in the first step, adipic acid, uh, one molecule of adipic acid protonates the carbonyl carbon, uh, carbonyl oxygen of another adipic acid. So, this is one molecule of adipic acid. Adipic acid, the formula is CH2 four times. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, CH2 4 times COOH, COH. This is one adipic acid and this is another adipic acid. Again, here we have CH2 4 times 1, 2, 3, 4 and COOH, COOH on either side. So, there are two molecules of adipic acid coming in the picture. So, in the step 1, one adipic acid molecule protonates the carbonyl carbon of another adipic acid. So, uh, this is another adipic acid. 
so this is getting protonated that means this proton is coming and uh, linking here with this carbonyl carbon resulting in the formation of a compound like this okay one adipic acid releases the proton the other one is other carbonyl carbon is protonated now in the second step this protonated uh, one will react with the amine so the amine attacks the carbonyl carbon creating an ammonium intermediate so this is the protonated adipic acid protonated adipic acid is now reacting with the amine that is hexamethylene diamine so when uh, when this protonated uh, amine uh, no when this hexamethylene diamine is attacking this uh, protonated carbonyl carbon it is forming an ammonium intermediate like this so there is a bond form between c and n during this bond formation this hydrogen is getting loosened and this uh, oh is is also trying to uh, stay away because of this linkage and hence in the third step we can see there is elimination of water molecule like this way. there is elimination of water molecule and there is liberation of the proton also proton is also regenerated resulting in the formation of the co nh linkage so in second step the amine the hexamethylene diamine uh, why this is hexamethylene because we have six methylene groups and two amino groups so this is hexamethylene diamine this is attacking the carbonyl carbon and it is uh, uh, resulting in the formation of an ammonium intermediate so this ammonium intermediate is not uh, stable it is uh, highly unstable which will quickly liberate the water and also release the proton and form a amide linkage that is the product okay so there is a mad game of electrons played okay mad game of electron electron movement like a musical chair electrons move like a musical chair from here to here here to here here to here here to here and then here so, uh, because oxygen is stealing a hydrogen from the nitrogen so the oxygen steals a hydrogen from the nitrogen and it forms a, a dimer a dimer is formed like this way giving out a molecule of water water is released and the proton is also regenerated or the acid catalyst is regenerated and this dimer will have an amide linkage the amide linkage is the one found here co and this nh so this is the amide linkage so this is the dimer because the two units one is uh, adipic acid other one is hexamethylene diamine uh, since the two units have linked we ca call this as a dimer the next step is a reaction of the dimer with another molecule of adipic acid the similar mechanism repeats resulting in the formation of a trimer so this has got again two amide linkages so this is the mechanism of poly condensation hope you all understood thank you for watching